Okay, so we are on this website. It is, and again, I'll go back to my rubric, which you should have seen already. If you haven't watched the rubric video yet, do that first, please. We are on www.gmapgis.com, and it looks just like this. Basically, it's just Google Maps, and you can actually draw on it and add notes and labels and all kinds of other things. So keep in mind, the focus is, is you're going to understand how to use geographic tools to locate and analyze info about places. And while you're doing that, you're also going to understand how geography has affected historical events. So we're focusing on where the first civilization developed and why it developed there. So we're looking at physical geography. How did physical geography affect where the first civilizations were? Um, obviously, it's in the Middle East. We know this after our finishing our pink sheet that you worked on in class. Um, I mentioned that you can use four maps in your atlas to help you identify. Again, you need to identify five factors as to why civilization developed where it did and also five factors explaining why it did not develop in certain parts of the Middle East. So you have this map. This is your, let's see, which one is this? This is a street map. Okay, it's like a political map. It gives you boundaries, it gives you cities, um, that kind of thing. It's it's clear, it's easy to read, easy to see. You can see some lakes, some rivers at times as well. The satellite map, it's kind of like almost like a land cover map. You can kind of see, for instance, if we look at the Middle East, obviously deserts, lakes. Um, if you zoom in here, I know you can see the Tigris and Euphrates rivers right here, running through Iraq and Kuwait. You also have the hybrid. It's just the same thing with labels. So it's like political map and satellite map combined. Finally, you have the relief map. This is kind of like an elevation map or a terrain map. It gives you some physical features that are on the surface. Um, for instance, you can see the Alps. Okay. You can see mountains. Deserts are in white. Clearly on Egypt, you can see the Nile River flow through the desert there. But I'm going to focus on China. I don't want to give away any answers for your assignment. So I'm actually going to zoom down here to a city called Dongguan, which is where I spent part of my summer in 2009 teaching um, Chinese students, just north of Hong Kong. Um, and I'm going to stick to I'm going to stick to this map because I'm all right with it. I think this will work well. Um, keep in mind if you look at your rubric you must use at least three different maps for both why and why not. All right. So one of these maps can be considered part of your three. But keep in mind, let's go back here real quick. You must use the land cover map in your atlas. You have to use that. That will help you a lot. Um, so I'm going to start off with my first part. I'm going to try and figure out where I think civilization started and explain why. So I'm just going to look at my physical features here and I'm going to say, okay, there's a river flowing through here. So maybe I want to put a marker here. I've clicked on the marker button. That means it's activated. So anywhere I click on the map, I'm going to get a marker. So let's put one right here, the river. Now the river, if you put a marker, that, that tells me nothing. You haven't proven anything yet. So you're going to right click on it. You're going to click format. You can change the color if you want. Let's go with pink. Change the size. Okay, cool. This is important though. This is where you're going to write kind of your explanation to me. And you need to answer. Oh, I'm sorry. We're not answering or provancering in complete sentences. This is where you prove what you know. You are explaining and elaborating to me why you put this marker here. So you should be telling me, let's just pretend this is called the Red River. The Red River. Why is it important? Why did people, why do people need the river for civilization? Maybe you want to talk about how it has fertile banks, um, which allowed for great crops to grow, more crops and a surplus of crops, helps with the population. 
Maybe if you think about kind of that flow chart, that pink flow chart we did in class, that will help you. So here you're actually explaining and you are including specific details, proof, and evidence for your claims. You need to support your claim. Explain to me, prove to me, show me what you know. Be cocky about it. This is your chance to shine and show me and tell me exactly what you're thinking. This goes all the way back to supporting a claim with evidence. You need to strengthen your claim with relevant, well-chosen facts, details, and evidence. Okay, You're not just identifying the factor, but elaborating. Just like we did, we spent that whole day in class last week um, with that Guns, Germs, and Steel homework when we redid it. Once you're done, click Update. I always click it twice, then click Close. And if you want to delete a marker, you just right click on it, click delete. Let's do that. Okay, once you've done that, click it again so it's not activated. Now you can kind of be free to click and drag. So now if you, when I'm checking this, or when you're looking at it, if you right click, whoops, I'm sorry. If you double click, your little balloon will pop up and, ex and you're explaining to me your factor, which is pretty cool. You can also, if you want to, you can draw a rectangle if you have something that's you want to square up. For instance, let's just say that, let's pretend there's a desert over here and you want to explain that, well, civilization didn't develop here because of the desert. You can box that in. And again, you can format change the line if you want mess with this stuff you don't really need to worry about that oh boy whoopsie okay let's zoom back in well, that's a bummer okay so let's just pretend there's a desert here again format it and this is again you gotta write and give me some information you're writing in complete sentences. Provancering. Update. Update again. Click out. Now if you double click on it, aha, tells you exactly what, you tell me what you're thinking through this little bubble. If you want, you can hover over it. You don't have to click, just hover. And those little squares will come up and it will help you make your rectangle bigger. Okay? Kind of cool with that. You can do the same thing with lines. If you want to like draw a line along, let's say there's a mountain range here or a river even, if you want to follow a river with a line, just do that. Then click line to deact whoops. Click once, click twice, click this again to end it. And then again, you need to format it and explain to me what you're thinking. Polygon, same thing. I like this one because it really does a nice job of shading in areas. So if you want to tell me that this little river valley was the first place to develop civilization, you can just draw a little shape. And then if you hover over it, let me pause one sec. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's try that again. Polygon, you just click, click, three clicks, or more. Then what you need to do is to double click on your little white square, get off it, and then hover over it again, and then you can change the shape. And with this one, you really got to, because you can't actually click on the, if I clicked in the center here to drag it, it would not let me. So you have to actually kind of move your little lines around and if you want to get rid of a line you just click on it and it will go away uh, uh, like so okay so you can mess around with that um, if you're trying to shade in an area this one will probably be the best way for you to prove where a place is or to prove where the first civilization developed I would prefer this because it shades it in and it shows you exactly what you're thinking about okay Cool. Um, we're almost done here. 
one of your requirements on your rubric is to submit. So this top little section here. To submit, you need to have a label. Click label. You're going to click, and let's look at a rubric. That's what it's here for. You need your period number in both student names. So period one, Billy Bob and Tommy Two-Tone. Click update. Or if you really want to change the color, you can. You don't need to. I mean, that's you don't have to do that. Update. There it is. Close. And then just slide this. If you click on it, you can drag it to the corner of your map. Okay. Last thing, to save it and turn it in and submit it. So we're still at the top here. You need to save as a link, copy and paste onto the Leno site. Let's do that. Up here it says save as a link. All you do is you get your link, double click it to highlight it, right click, copy, go to the useful link site on my web page. If you're on period four or period one, let's do period one. Click it, takes you right to your sticky note. Then you get the directions right here. It tells you exactly what to do. You're going to, we've already done step one and two, so that's easy. Come back to this page, click on a new sticky note. Let's do yellow, click it. Then it says I need to type both partners' names. Billy Bob and Tommy Two-Tone. And their period. So period one. Then all you have to do is just right click and push paste. Okay. Push. We're on step four. Click post. And your sticky note is on the corkboard. Now, if you can, and I don't know if it will let you or not, but move your sticky note so you're not all on top of each other. Because what happens is when you add sticky notes, they just pile on top of each other and then we can't read them. So move them. Finally, step five, very important. Click your link. Make sure it works. Cool. It works. So you have just turned your project in. Easy. Again, please, I cannot stress enough, pay attention to this rubric. This rubric is, rubric is here to help you. It's the keys to the door. It's your map to success. Pay attention to it. And really, the meat and potatoes of your project is supporting your claims with evidence. So you're identifying factors as to why civilization developed where it did and why it did not develop in other areas but you've got to provide prove answers. Please see me with any questions you have.